Finally, the mission to Nakuru is over. And we are now getting the caravan of the Lord back home. But I must confess one thing. As we are going, our hearts are remaining in Nakuru. Hallelujah, my son. Hallelujah, our hearts are remaining here. We are going to come back, in other words. And so I want to say this to you. Let us just receive Jesus right now. Thank you, Crown TV, for covering this. All my sons from the Bona Bona, I'll bless you. Now, rise up, lift up your hands, rather, everybody. And let us go back to the Lord. Say, mighty Lord Jesus. Say, I repent today. I repent today. And turn away from all sin. And I receive you, my Lord Jesus. As my Lord. And my Savior. Mighty Lord Jesus. Today. Leo. In the mighty name of Jesus. I am born again. I am born again. Let me bless you now. The violinist, I see you. I thank you for serving Jesus. The keyboard is my So let me bless everybody in this town. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Each one of them, you know their station in life. They are in business. Wako katika biashara. Some of them school fees. Pabia wako na shida ya karo ya shule. Others it is rent. Wengine ni kodi ya nyumba. Others it sickness, the body, the body disease. Wengine ni ugonjo, maradi ya mwili. Others it is matters of marriage. Wengine ni shida za ndoa. The child has run away is in alcoholism. Mtoto wa metoroka wako katika uraimu wa madawa ya mulevi. But whatever the condition. Lakini hali yoyote ile. Jehovah you are able. Jehovah muna weza. You have enough power to bless each one of these people. Unazo gugu za kutosha za kubariki kila moja ya watu hawa. And that's why today I stand here with my prophetic tongue. Nandiyo sababu liya wina simama hapa na ulimi wangu waki unawe. And I decree the mighty blessings of the Lord upon each one of you. In the mighty name of Jesus, that the Lord will visit you in your families, in your businesses, with provision. Even the border border, the Lord will open a big door for them. They will grow their businesses. They will move to tuk tuk. They will move now to taxi. They will move to a taxi agency. They will move to other businesses. The Lord will open a door for everybody here. Hata waendesha ni boda boda pana hata wabariki Wata endesha tuktuk, wata nunuwa magari Wata nunuwa taxi Wata ingia kwa mataxi, wata ingia kwa magari Wa agency ya mataxi Kwa mana, wana hana kikomo Hallelujah Hallelujah Na hizo baraka ni meajiria hapa Na ulimi wangu wa kiunabi Na hizo hivyo ni etakua Amen Na hizo baraka ni meajiria hapa Na ulimi wangu wa kiunabi Na hizo hivyo ni etakua amina Hata wangu 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 wala mbao wakona magonjo wana ata watembelea ata waponya ata mbao mbani mwini wale mbao wakona magonjo wana ata watembelea ata waponya katika jina kula yesu ni mwabariki katika jina kula yesu 
Thank you so much. Asante sana. The Messiah is coming. Masiya nakuja. Always make sure you leave as though he can come now and now. Kila wakati akikisha unaishi kana kwamba anaweza kuja sasa na sasa. The Bible, moja moja pole pole baada na ongea. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. It says that while people will be saying peace, peace, peace. Inasema ya kwamba wakati watu watakuwa wakisema amani, amani, amani. Then all of a sudden the Messiah will come and they will be faced with destruction. Kisha kafla pinifu masia takuja na watakupa na walimifu. But those people are not you. Lakini hawa watu siya nini. Because for you. Kwa sababu kwenu nini. You are living in the light. Unaishi katika nuru. And you know that the Messiah is coming. Na muna chua kwamba masia nakuja. And that day will not take you by surprise. So you, you know that he's coming, so you are preparing all the time. When somebody comes to you and was involved in sin, na anataka kuingiza kwenye dhambi. You just refuse. Unakataa tu. Because you say no. How about if the Messiah came now? Unasema na hasha na chema si akija sasa hivi. And so that coming of the Messiah changes the way you live your life. Wewe uko kukuja kwa Mesia kunabadilisha jinsi ambavyo unaishi maisha yako hapa. So that you are always living prepared for the coming of the Messiah. Kwamba unaishi ukijiandaa kila wakati kwa ajili ya kuja kwake Mesia. Remember the world before terrorism begin knock the twin towers in New York. Kumbuka dunia kabla ya ushamlizo magaidi ukagoka ile kitu kabla al Qaeda wa gonge huko New York na zile matenge kwa terrorism kabla al Qaeda wa gonge kule ile kwa New York kule katika mji wa New York na makombora ya uharibifu dunia nzima ilikuwa inaishi tu hivyo fua tu dunia nzima ilikuwa inaishi tu hivyo fua and that's why the terrorists could come and strike as they want ndio sababu ndio ndio maana magaidi wangekuja na kuja na kushambulia but when the world began to prepare lakini wakati dunia ilianza kuchia Even this hotel has a metal detector. Hata hotel hii iko na kile chombo cha kuchunguza. The whole world is now ready. Ulimwengu wote sasa hu tayari. And the result is different. Na matokeo ni tofauti. Now when anything comes the result is different and she got tayari. Sasa wakati chochote kinatokea matokeo ni tofauti acha she got tayari. So it is with the coming of the Messiah. Sasa ndivyo ilivyo na kukuja kwake Mesia. When you are prepared the result will always be different. Wakati umechiandaa matokeo kila wakati atakuwa tofauti. Jesus loves you. Yes.